So today we're going to be talking about the Shelly One Smart Switch and I'm going to show you how to wire it up. So the reasons I like the Shelly One so much are first of all, out of the box, it comes with local control for Home Assistant. So you can use the app to connect it up and operate it, but personally I like the way that it connects automatically into Home Assistant. Second of all, it's a really small little device and will fit into most plug or light switch points. It's got a 16 amp fuse, so powerful enough to control as many LEDs as you might have in your ceiling. It has a switch input that can be used either to sense the, the selection of your switch or to sense other things. For example, if you used it as a garage door opener, you could sense a reed switch to see whether the door was open or closed. Can operate off either 12 volts DC or 110 or 220 volts AC. Can easily be flashed. If you want to use TAS motor or ESP home, you can flash it because it has exposed headers. So you don't have to worry about soldering. Finally, the most important thing with these devices is always remember to select the correct jumper position before you connect them up otherwise you're going to see the magic smoke. So just remember we're dealing with 220 or 110 volts AC so this is dangerous. Please get your Sparky to wire this in for you. So the way we connect this up is we take our live wire that comes in from our switchboard and that needs to connect first of all to the live on the Shelly, second of all it needs to connect to one side of the dry relay and third it needs to connect to one side of the switch. The other side of the switch is going to be connected into the SW point on the Shelly. Our neutral wire coming from the switchboard is going to connect directly to the neutral of our Shelly to power it and secondly we're going to have it connected to the neutral of the LED bulb. Secondly the LED bulb will then be connected back to the other side of the dry contact. So once you've wired up your Shelly click on the link below and you can see exactly how the easiest way that I use to connect the Shelly up to your Wi-Fi and then it will automatically display in your Home Assistant. So as you can see here we've got the Shelly all wired up so effectively I can now switch it on or off using the Home Assistant or I can go to my switch and I can switch it on and off using my switch. So we, that's all for me today. In the next episode talking about Shelly's, I'll show you how to use the same device to control your garage door automatically. Bye for now.